Noah. Hi, hi. Did the 1.3 live stream today uh, for ZZZ. It came out like 15 hours ago, but I wanted to watch it live a chat, so I waited a little bit to watch it. I haven't seen anything about it yet. I'm really excited. Um, this character looks super cool. So I, I kind of did like a few joke pulls after getting Bernice, and I got a super early lichen. It was my fifth one. I have M4 lichen, and that's unfortunate. But uh, it was really nice to get an early standard five star because that means I guaranteed. Because originally I was going to skip her just because I didn't think I'd have enough after Bernice. But now I think I'll be able to get her. So I'm really excited to see what she's about because she looks gorgeous. So if she, her kit is cool, I feel like I'm going to pull for her. So I'm really excited to see this. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. Yeah. Like a main? I am not a like a main. Shut up. The guy just keeps forcing himself onto my account. He won't leave me alone. They chose the best song in the game, Boost. Hi there, proxies. Hello. Welcome to the Zen Lesson Zero special program. Yeah, like, what's up, Great to see you all see again. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest this is gossip the best song on the scene, game. It's Mr. So good. Z. And next to me is... Hello, Lady <laughs> Meow. We're live now. Wait, why can't we get a cat bungalow? That's adorable. What a cat bungalow. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest updates. <clears throat> we truly appreciate your support. Why so serious, Mr. Z? You're not nervous because this story is about section What's up with the random joker? <laughs> what is that the random not joker reference? Section 6 is an elite team specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. To residents of New Song Eridu, so they're hard. like guardians watching over us. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but for the average I unironically listen to this song, like, when not playing ZZZ. This song's so good. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Mm-hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Next, I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get to section six, no, we have to gone. first Good introduce life. HAND, the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization yeah. Department. They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Oh, the bureaucracy. <clears throat> Let's not put it that way. Although they're a high level organization involved in city administration, HAND mainly handles matters related to hollow disasters. As a specialized agency, is this the group that the pink girl and Miyabi are in? Which is why they established Chicago. special operations. And yeah, I just saw Miyabi. Is the Chat look. Unit Hold on. HSO. Go back. The On armed forces. Which is they why snuck they snuck her in there. Miyabi spotted. <laughs> Miyabi spotted. Everyone's so excited for her. I feel like everyone always comes into my chat as like a first message. Like, are you going to give Miyabi? List hollow special operations. And Section 6 no, is the sixth unit of HSO. That's right. Section 6 has built quite the reputation since Chicago! its establishment She's and so gained cute. a lot of respect among the public. Though, Me. under normal circumstances, <laughs> you'll get the chance to Me. interact with them. But if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a blessing in the sense that Section 6... I want her. <laughs> I want her. ...is undeniably skilled and will definitely rescue you. But it's also a curse. Since the team members are all pretty eccentric, so you still. <laughs> Wait, I didn't catch that at first. That's wild. Better hope for the best. Well, you aren't wrong about that, Lady Meow, but don't worry, everyone. <laughs> there is one normal person among them that you can rely on. You mean Miss Yanagi, right? That's right. And the story we are about to witness also revolves around Miss Yanagi. I feel like she is the least normal of all of them. Is that a hot take? I feel like she is by far the least normal. <laughs> Just looking at her! This girl seems like she is quirky as brick. And that's putting it nicely. 
Everyone knows now that HSO section six. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever I was thinking about skipping her before, I don't know what was going on in my mind. That girl is insanely hot. Holy. Also revolves around Miss Yanagi. He's insanely Everyone knows hot. now that HSO Section 6 is part of Hans Armed Forces. And that the team members <laughs> are all highly capable fighters. The founder and team leader, Miss Hoshimi Miyabi, is particularly exceptional. But it's Miss Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw. My God! Holy! Forms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. <laughs> you could put it that way, but if you want to know more... Let's play the VCR! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I heard VCR! And it made me think of CPR. And then it made me think of the song CPR. <laughs> My friend went so fast there. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow like Special voice. Operations How is Section it the calm 6, voices? Heroes of New Era Do. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. That logo, it's. <laughs> I'm afraid no one needs your salvation. Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. They know what they're doing, chat. They know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you look so pretty there. Go back. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And I respect it. <laughs> and I respect it. <laughs> she reminds me of like an old uh Ride in May uh battle suit. I forget which one. I don't remember which one it's called, but she reminds me of one of the old Ride in May battle suits, like her movements and like her abilities. <laughs> I lighter of the so one where you'd hold Calum. like a hold attack and then she'd like dash around. Here's one of called. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. I'm kind of falling off on Hong Kai and Patrick recently. I need to pick up. To deal with you, fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take them down, right? And you're going to get out of there! Dude, she looks so cool. She looks so cool. Is that like a form? Or is it like the, the Jane Doe clone that you have to fight against? That's what I'm wondering. Wow, that was a lot of info. Were Miss Yanagi and Miss Miyabi fighting? I wonder what happened. You can ask her yourself. Hey, Lady Meow, why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? The left bongo is so Come zesty on, and I love it. <laughs> He's a know. zesty boy. I managed to get some audio files of Miss Yanagi. Wanna listen? <laughs> what? Luca 2.0? Dude, Luca even did a fire punch in, in 2.5. Remember he did like the one punch at... Uh, what's what's the the blonde boy's name again? Y Yang. How am I forgetting his name? Is he Yang Shin? 
Yang? Uh, Jeff, what is it? Yang Ching, thank you. Yeah, remember you got the fire punch at Yang Ching? Hello, I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, Deputy Chief of Intelligence Officer. I thought Luca would have been fire. Six. Just like is based on color theme. This from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Fire, Luca. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section Six is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our. Girl positions. has. A How massive are you having a conversation right here. with the recording? <laughs> <laughs> Thank Those you for are the some insane giggles. I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi, and that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within hand. Is there some deeper story behind it, hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration in consideration of the state of the city and the hollows. We share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand, to deal with hollow disasters. Residents of New Eridu can also log into the city's official website for public information on all divisions of hand. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through, huh? Well, I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Section 6 operates smoothly under our chief's leadership. I simply assist her by handling Wait, is she actually the normal needed. one? Our team is I thought she was going to be the weirdest one by far. <laughs> and my teammates know what they're doing, so there's no It's like always the nerdy quiet girl that's always like the course, weirdest one when you actually get to meet them. If shifts are slacking off, then it's my duty to discipline them. Is it just my yeah. imagination or did the room just get colder? <laughs> Must be your imagination. But I can tell this family would so fall pretty. apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. Can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Could it be related to the new equipment? Ah, the curiosity is killing me! Looks like we'll have to find out the truth for ourselves. Is she a sword or a pull arm? I thought she used a sword. We get to experience the new special episode. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Miss Yanagi. Dude, she looks awesome in that outfit. I can't believe I didn't know about this intel. I have Both failed us, this so she's right in there. Don't be sad, Mr. Z. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Wait, she's like actually right in there. Big boobs. Sword and spear. Spear has like the little circle right here. She's got like the, the braided up like long ponytail. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? Go ahead. Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Although the Torridi Inferno has concluded, the story of a certain champion remains untold. These After two are the so calm, and then these I'm two sure are like fighting for their lives in the background. They're like, it's like the picture of like the, and as the champion of, of like the the, of the person Caledon, drowning in the background. They're like, this isn't about them. This the is about me. <laughs> Sporting his leather jacket, accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. That's Cap. But the question is, ben why would someone coolest? so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf. He actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon, but there must she be some is hidden reason the behind Sakura his decision right to his daughter. <laughs> A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Leiter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Hello, Mr. Leiter. Hello. Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? I said hello before Wait, she was done saying hello. are you really just going to ask like that? Hello. If there's a hidden reason, he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. Huh? I forgot the leader's called Big Daddy. <laughs> That's it? I see. As expected of Mr. Leiter, straightforward and honest. Thanks. Speaking of which, the Tour d'Inferno is over and a new overlord has been crowned. But I heard there's something called Settlement Days in the Outer Ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, Anyone with past grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. 
This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal grudges. In the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal. But in recent times, Settlement Days is more like a festival, and it's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the Overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Leiter? Certainly seems so. See you around. Ah, and there he goes! That didn't take long. And he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the Sons of Caledon <laughs> are taking Settlement Days very seriously. But like Leiter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In Leiter's agent story, you'll receive an invitation yeah, from the cool. Sons of Caledon to participate in this Outer Ring celebration. As the settlement days begin, everyone in the Sons of Caledon is goofing around. Meanwhile, Leiter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, as he continues to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. Speaking of the Outer Ring, isn't Pearlman still out cold there? We shouldn't forget, he still has crucial intel. Is Not to worry, it won't take long before you proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision Case. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6, so please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. Sleeping for so five to six business months. Let's return to version one point three <laughs> and get to introducing our agents. Huh? We're moving on already. All right, let's dive into the intel on Miss Shishio Yanagi. As you Dude, can, this girl is so fine. See, I'm the one giving the info this time. Sukishiro Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and an S-rank anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. Seriously, doesn't anyone care that I'm the one who got this info? She wields a Naginata that matches her slender frame. In combat, Wait, she, she uses can teleport a behind them? to take down enemies. Her special oh, dude, she becomes her like a lightning bolt. Changing her stance. Wait, that's so cool! She's literally like what I want my Elden Ring character to be, chat. We're getting her. I've guaranteed we're using it on her. It, she's literally what I want my Elden Ring character to be. She becomes a lightning bolt and then teleports behind them, knocks them in the air, and then stomps them to the ground. That is so cool. Go back. Let's watch that again. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing. Literally throws them to the stance. ground, just stops on them back down. That's so good. <laughs> then she poses on them. Dude, she does them dirty. She poses she on them. She uses a combination of styles them. to take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Girl literally poses on them. <laughs> Yanagi's available moves will change depending on her stance. And she'll also get different buffs. These buffs remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Dude, she's so Simply cool. Put, as long as you keep a good her. rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Also, after Yanagi switches her stance, every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. Wait! Wait! Every time she deals damage with, with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. That's so cool! Dude, she is everything I want my Elden Ring character to be. Oh my god, we're getting her. When she unleashes She's her a must special attack, she Yanagi just went from like, I'm probably gonna get her some muscle. And switches her stance. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack, dealing electric damage. If the target is under an anomaly, Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without removing Dude, the target's so anomaly and cool. giving herself a buff. Now, let's see this in action. So is she a main DPS or is she like Bernice where you kind of go on like you you like throw up your stuff and then leave? She seems like a main DPS. She definitely seems like a main DPS. 
Follow-up question. Can I put her on the Jane Doe Bernice team? Because that would be peak if I have all three of them on the same team. I feel like not. I feel like Jane Doe takes up too much screen time. In combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers Ooh, seven an anomaly, PC buns. doing extra damage while applying debuffs. Well, that'll be fun. I hear you, remember? An anomaly, doing extra damage while applying... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> She's... I have to get her. I have to get her. I have to get her. Yep. I have to get her. Debuffs. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus as she lets loose a flurry That's of deadly so cool. slashes. Trust me, you don't want to be on her bad side when she gets serious. Agreed, but in her day-to-day -day life, Yanagi is still a gentle person. She only becomes that serious when things get real. Oh? Got more details to share? <laughs> mm -mm. I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's shift our focus to Lyder. Uh -huh. Here comes Lyder, an S-rank fire and stun agent. Lighter, I'm sorry, if you you're, saw getting our last special you're getting program, skipped. You're getting skipped. I need Yanagi. You still remember this cool dude. Uh -huh. Indeed. I'm sorry, he's not cool when he's that stupid. That's the thing. He's dumb. He he is literally a meathead. He punch dig. He he big bonk. He bonk. No dig, just bonk. He doesn't remember things. He forgot. He he no dig, just bonk. He's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. With those golden gauntlets and that red scarf, he certainly stands out in a crowd. But truth be told, Lutter's not one to hot the spotlight. And of course, he uses his fists in combat. Lighter faces <laughs> his enemies head on in close range combat. And when his morale is high, the fifth hit of his double, basic double, 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 double. <laughs> into an enhanced state. In this state, he consumes morale and increases his. They made him a JoJo character. They actually made him a JoJo his character. Also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. Yeah, they made the reference. What a! What a! What a! What a! What a! What a! Okay, I wasn't just thinking that, huh? He allows his teammates to deal more. They just enjoy you can. Fire and ice damage when he hits enemies. Wait, so you can have Kiki Boy and Punchy Boy on the same team. During combat, Lido recovers morale as his teammates face off against the opponents. I mean, just need a guy Lider like Headbutt. Roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches. Can you imagine that? A character that just rapid fire headbutts at this people. This helps him stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious DPS. And when his perfect dodge is slick. It's time for his ultimate. Letter slams the ground with a powerful punch, dealing massive damage and days to nearby enemies. With his fiery fists and powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a hot one. Uh, right. Got it. That's all for our new agents, but let's not forget our new Bangboo, Maddie Boo, Boo and Night Boo. Maddie Boo. Did you mean to say Maddie Boo? Two new Bang Boo? Any chance they'll help get our Mahjong game going? We're still short two players, you know. Hmm, I don't think so. <clears throat> Let's stay on track. I should commission a Bang Boo update, my model. Proxies can signal search in the Bang Boo. Oh, look at it. Channel to get the A rank Bang Boo, Batty Boo. And Batty they boo. also get oh, Night Boo as Night a reward boo. from the event, the mystery of our Peggio. Wait, that's cool. So they're not just gonna give away engines, but they're gonna give away uh bong boos for events as well. I like that. I don't think they've given away a bong boo for an event yet. At least not one that I've done. Fault. Just so you know, the only way to obtain night boo as of now will be from that event. Betty Boo is an A rank bang boo who uses rockets He's and a Molotov rocket cocktails to deal fire and damage Molotov with his active cocktails. skills. 
When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, Betty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out with one big blast! Is the knight Very somebody nice. unicorn? Now our other a rank Did anyone see that? can summon stars onto the battlefield. It's Collecting like those stars restores the energy bodies. for agents. When activating a chain attack, Naipu summons three rainbow ponies. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. Look With these go. new agents and Bengu yeah, raring to go, yeah. let's talk about signal searching. Meow. In the first half of version 1.3, proxies will have access to the exclusive channel Moonlit Serenity and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata, where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent Tsukishiro Yanagi and S rank W Engine Time Weaver. In the latter half, the exclusive channel Champion of Embers and the W Engine, engine channel too. Dissonant Sonata will be offering exclusive S rank come out agent lighter and the S rank W Engine Blazing come out Laurel. Second. As for the 1.3 check-in events, each proxy can get yeah. 10 encrypted master tapes and 10 bupons in total. So don't forget to log in. Also, many of you probably know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank 4 with characters. Here are Wait, how do you get a flaming? Mine doesn't have the flame like that. What the heck? Yanagi and Ladder's dynamic backgrounds. Wait, so are we going to be able to use all the characters now? Or is that 1.4 that they said that? Or they said eventually we're going to be able to use all the characters to walk around with. 1.4. Gotcha. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust ranks up. Wait, that one's actually super nice. I like the nice guy. And don't forget the new Bang Boo. These new friends are itching to team up with you I'm going to assume you could walk around as her and him. as Because well, like you do Caesar and Bernice. I'm going to assume you could walk around as these two as well. Next patch. Maybe They're probably just working on adding in all the animations Mahjong for them. They go join our proxies? Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? What did say? Drop that topic for now. Long before they go join our proxies? Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? Chill at the bar? Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption Free pause? Go! Oh wait, I forgot to do that. No, did I mess up? I think I forgot to actually type it in. Oh, I put it up there for all of chat. I don't think I typed it in myself yet. Hold on. No. Where do I redeem it again? Please still be available. We got it. We got it. It wasn't too late. We got it. Thank God. Okay. update we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too let's take a look first of all miss yanagi and mr lighter stories are coming right in version 1.3 our new stories will be available through the themed event tv schedule this event has unique tokens which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm-up exercises and then exchange them for rewards in Sugishiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces, proxies can check out Sugishiro Yanagi's story and themed stages. <sighs> Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, The TV. Champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series of horizontal battle stages. Each stage will give Lighter a different buff. Of course, we can't let Lighter fight alone. At the start of each stage, proxies can designate an agent as a supporting character. Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. 
timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our oh, wait, that's so lovers, cool. We've added that's kind of like a, as a supporting character. the near automata. Call them in at the right times to summon them and have they them unleash this, this their style. skills. Timing your support like where it's like 2D character but also 3D right at the same time. can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode, the Simulated Battle oh? Trials. By fight new endgame, Pog? That's actually huge! Think battle after exhilarating battle. Proxies can step... We get her as a character. Holy... Finally climb higher on the tower. Apart from polychrome rewards, players will obtain a badge upon reaching a certain floor. The higher you climb, the shinier your medal gets. Does it reset but weekly or is it a one and done? keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. It and seems your like agents a one and done. won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Like your HP, for That's example. Tough. Agents will retain the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. As you keep <laughs> going through the challenge, you will unlock more agents to choose from. Yep. And enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials, too. Yeah, I'm gonna For need example, more. I need more characters the now. Bosses, I'm screwed. They resurrect faster than in regular fights. Oh, you no. Don't say that. Your teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. In addition, we're adding... Did they say... I didn't catch it. Does it reset or is it a one and done? Either way, that's awesome that they're adding more endgame. But I'm just, I'm just wondering if it's like a, a weekly thing. Or if it's like a just do it at your own pace and then it's done. New rogue like it kind of seems like a one and done. Zero, called the mystery of arpeggio fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. As you can see in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient combat power. In addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. Looks like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power. I mean, their sharp wit. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. The Bang Boo you get in game will show up as special Bang Boo Rizonia, following proxies and providing bonus effects. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP, which can be used to activate the Blessing Group, chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. I'm not gonna Once lie, I don't understand. Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. <laughs> the resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for the your TV's next adventure. Confuse me. And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So, proxies can customize their skills to suit their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. There are both permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new Bang Boo, Night Boo. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore Does for Yanaki themselves. Does just chase you or is she your friend? Oh, and I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event too. There, proxies oh, can engage yes. in test so battles cute. with different I love buffs yes. for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, Tsukishiro Yanagi. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing the stages with a single agent. So don't miss out if that sounds like some soloing the stages with a single agent. Proxies can try soloing the stages with a single agent. <laughs> no. Holy. <laughs> Dude, she's so, so cool! Out if that sounds like something you're into. By the way, have you heard the buzz about breaded belief in New Eridu? They're gearing up to open a pop-up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. 
Not only that, word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky please. customers. I like them. Linehan, I like you must score a spot like as a VVVIP customer at the store. And who knows, there might oh! be more rewards waiting too. Oh, smiley, but dude, I Little love Bang Boo dreaming so big cute. dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version one point three. Hard, so I During this event, later. proxies can visit. It made it extra Bangu easy for me. I want Inagi. I think she looks so cool. Take photos for the Bang Boo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. I get to take Those pictures of Bang Boo. Bang Boo can be a handful. Cute. If you want to check the results of their training, you gotta start by counting them. Don't let any distractions so throw you off. Bombos. Bang Boo always appreciate a helping hand from proxies. So, besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. There's also a Bang Boo with a little card oh, handing out yeah, tasks too. Mustache. Head over Bang to the Boo. Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. By the way, have you heard? Sun Z Studio is opening up in Lumina Square. They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something you like, grab it and show off your latest find. Oh, I like on your that. So you get to, on the second floor you get to the customize the room a little. Treat I actually really like that. Nice. In addition, we will be getting more. Treat yourself to what something nice. Like Yuki. He's in on my addition, keyboard. We will be getting Dude, she's hot even as a chibi. Events Damn. For combat simulation Damn. and routine cleanup. So proxies, get your farming hats on. In version 1.3, we optimize the layout of the friends system, expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Oh, cool. Proxies will be able to get various titles from events and from Agent Trust. You can only equip one title. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more! I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Come on, spill! Of course, of course. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, what? we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go-to button for easy access. We've also revamped. Why? That's like, why would you, like, why do you need this after you got all four? What does it matter anymore? And the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. This update introduced. Oh, they're making this more points. Uses a new interface and way to choose tasks, which refresh weekly. I see. But it this gives more rewards. Huge! Okay, the weekly stuff gives rewards. Nice. Drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Under the combat tab, you'll find new the ways LN to access standard game modes. I think it gets like the reruns soon. Investigator training. Usually they start doing reruns around 1.4, 1.5 in most of their games. Like Genshin's first one was Venti in 1.4. And I want to say Seelie reran in 1.4 for HSR as well. Of course, in version I'd say 1. they start doing reruns and soon. And new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages. Getting more familiar with the mechanics, meeting learning targets, and obtaining first clear rewards. Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here, too. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Yeah, and also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Cleanup, where proxies can now check agents who need the materials and disk drives from each stage. 
When it comes to nice building your agents, we've made a number of changes regarding materials, drive discs, W engines, and uh -oh. more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, the system now checks for materials across levels. That's nice. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by level, and instead get everything you need on a single pop-up window. Provided you have enough necessary materials, of course. Yep. So, if you're running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials, you can craft across levels with a single action. I like it! But while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go, too. You bet. In version 1.3, we're extending this handy feature Wait. to drive disk master copies as well. So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items. You could craft these into those ones? All the quality of life stuff before this, it's like, it's nice, but it doesn't like change the game. This is huge. That's massive that you could craft these into these ones and then these into these ones. That is a game changer. That's actually massive. To get more advanced Should have been these, I guess. That really is handy. Oh yeah. And that's not the end of it. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disk menu. Then I can also sort my drive disks by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now too? Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disk dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive disks when dismantling making it a breeze to filter disks that you don't need. Plus, the old select all has been replaced by quick select. Just a tap, and you can select all drive disks of a specific grade or all those marked as discarded. That's good. We've added a new details button for dismantling drive disks and W engines. And the original filter button Wait, is- Wait, I can dismantle here and not at the music lady? And have to listen to her t say the same line every two seconds the entire time now. I could just dismantle wherever and not have to listen. I don't even remember the voice line. Oh my god, the voices in my head when she does that a bajillion times over as you're going through what you want to dismantle and stuff. Now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. Also, in version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and bang boo. You can pin your agents and bang boo. I was actually thinking about that. So before I noticed, it does it on the level you got them to. So like, say, say you have two characters at level 50. It'll do the character you got to level 50 first, lower down, and the character you got to level 50 later, higher up. So I'm like, well, that kind of stinks. Because then that means like, all your favorite characters that you level to 61st are going to be at the bottom of the list. And you're going to have to scroll down to find them, which is kind of a little lame. Like, usually people like the characters, they're, the, the characters they like, they want at the top. So that's nice. So you can favorite them and move them to the top. For the agent menu, remodeling shop, just about that the other day. deployment interface, and more. Now you can find your faves with ease. And let's not forget about the tweaks. Her, the yeah, she freaking yaps. Every time you sit on dismantling, she says the same voice line every two seconds, and it's torture. Drive disk selection we don't have to do that over at the God. music store. Now you can view more. Is that new? Has Thunder Metal always been there? More sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Was that a new interface. engine too? Over Moreover. Is that a new engine? I don't remember an engine with a letter on it. That's the electric set from 1.0. Oh, I haven't built an electric character really, besides like Ombi. With added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. Time for a cat nap. Huh? Wait! Hey! Hang on a little longer! Lady Meow! Lady Meow! That's her shit. Don't worry, Proxies. We're professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, 
we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye. I was say, I kept hearing the little static. I knew something was coming. Static started like around here. It was bothering me at first. I'm like, wait, I think that's part of the video. <laughs> that was my headset at first. else in it nope. okay new characters look awesome but making lighter into a jojo reference i think is like the smartest thing they could have done he went from like a character i didn't really care about to like the the jojo reference makes him pretty funny i like that she looks amazing like I, at first i was gonna skip her just because she came out to bernice so i was like oh i'm gonna have to skip her and then i got lucky and i got the guaranteed it's so like, oh, like maybe I'll use the guarantee for her since I have that now. And now that I've seen her kit in game, I I need her. I absolutely need her. I want her so bad. She's literally everything I want my Elden Ring character to be like fast, teleports around, lightning. Does like the the like lightning strike attacks from the air and like jumps down to the ground. I really want her. Um Quality of life stuff, most of it's like, it's nice. I wouldn't say any of it's like super game changing, but it's definitely convenient. Uh, biggest changes I would say for the quality of life is now you have a quick select instead of a select all. The select all was kind of annoying. Um, I like that they added a quick select so you could categorize what you want to uh, select instead of just removing everything that's not locked or leveled up. Um, and definitely the biggest quality of life change for sure is now that you can upgrade the crafting material for the distress. That is huge. That is absolutely massive. Um, and then I'd say the biggest change to 1.3 overall is that they're adding more endgame content, which is awesome to see. That's really nice to see that they're adding more endgame. They give, uh... They gave Honkai Star Rail a ton of love with their endgame, and they've been extremely successful with it. In my opinion, Honkai Star Rail is, like, the best gacha game out there. And seeing, uh, seeing ZZZ fall in his footsteps is really nice. And so I'm, I'm really excited for that, that they, they seem to be giving it the same love and attention. Um... And then, I don't know if this was, like, Miyabi or like one of those clones is if this is like Miyabi's like form that's awesome if it's just like a like uh the Jane Doe clone that you have to fight it's still cool but it'd be really cool if this was Miyabi's form I can't find it I don't know it'll probably be the thumbnail of the video if that's not the thumbnail it's gonna be Yanagi I haven't decided yet anyways I'm really excited for 1.3 it looks really good YouTube, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite changes? Who are you going to pull for? Uh, and are you excited for the new endgame? I'm excited for it. See you in the next video, boys. Bye!